Okay, with the magic of video, we are joined, Little Grizz, for another Tool Talk. All right. Have we startled you? <laughs> now, don't you love videos? I like, because what, 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 two minutes ago? Exactly. And look how it's already dry, and everything kind of changed up, but anyway, that's what Of course, actually, you know, for our viewers, it might be a whole day before they that's see the next That's what I'm talking one. about. We can pretend like, eh, ooh, boy, it's a good night's sleep. Ah, I'm back to work now. All right. But anyway, so what we do, see I'm sitting on this stand because it's too low naturally to get my cutter around it, as you can tell. You know, so I set it up here. And and these are stands that you buy at Walmart, correct? Correct, correct. <laughs> yeah. And I know you can't do it right now, but they're all over here. I've got about a dozen over here, you know, because I use them a lot, you know to set the blocks on and all that, you know, for drying. And did you uh, make spray. these yourself? Yes, I did. Can't you tell the beauty in them? Look at this. This is fine work. Mahogany pine. Mahogany <laughs> hey, pine. Wait a minute. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> and this right here is a broom handle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And is this a modern broom handle? No, it's antique. Yeah, that's what it is. You know, really, they probably are pretty old. You know, because they was out there in that old garage, and it's several of them, and they do work very, very good. So you do what you have to do. Uh, me get over. I'm just getting over here digging out. Here's the cutter I made right here. Okay, can you show us a close up on that cutter? Okay, see, it's set right at two and seven eighths. Can you, I don't yes, know if you we, can, we, we have a good shot of it. Okay, all right. Now what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to go around and trim it. And I know this ain't, uh, but you gotta, you got to keep it right against the brim. You can't let it walk. So, folks, that's as clear of a shot as we can get because I can't get on the other side. I would probably okay. melt my camera. Fine. Now, there's... And what is the deep, dark reason for this cut that you're fixing to make in this scrap? Okay, whatever you do, Murphy's Law takes over. If you leave it whole like that, somehow both feet will be in there and then try to take a step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, automatically cut it. There's no questions that go, that's part of it. Now, see, I've got it trimmed, and what I do now is uh, go around and smooth it up. See, I got a little place right there, you know? And uh, you always want to keep your razor knife. The razor blade short. I mean, I, I just change them if I'm. How often do you change your razor blade in your cutter? Anytime I think about it. <laughs> I mean, I don't have no set, you know, word. If I'm not sure, I change it. Okay. I don't. If I even if I flat out trimming, I wouldn't go to like six halves and change it. Okay. Because that's either you, you bite it or. Bite the book, and I don't buy. I buy the, the butter grade razor knife. It is a different thing. Everybody knows it's using very much. Okay. Now, okay, folks, you have seen it here. We have now gone We're gonna put from the a, curl in a wide the brim one. into the trimmed brim, and yes, we will join Little Grizz in a moment for pencil curl. Goodbye, folks.